Hello and welcome to Brawl Jewel. This time we have the YY animation replacer, Mystic Knight. The mod replaces most of the one-handed melee and magic animations. It was mainly designed for players who use a sword in one hand and magic in the other, so it's perfect for spell swords, battle mages, mystic knights, or even just pure mages. On screen now, what you've already partially seen and what you're still seeing are the new casting animations. The mod pretty much replaces each type of spell, including wards, aimed spells, projectiles, buffs, and even master spells. The new animations also change your character's stance when wielding magic, so instead of being hunched over, your character's more upright, and the arms are more separated than before, with different casting animations for each one. The mod also uses different animations when casting the different types of spells. So for example, instead of just the generic hand movement, when you cast a buff, your character charges and then clicks their fingers. There's even an added snapping sound effect. Our favourite of the new casting animations is the Master Spell, which moves away from the more aggressive and masculine animation and goes for one more magical and flamboyant. Realistically, most of the new animations are pretty showy, but they do work for both males and females. The author does also have plans to add new animations, including a more masculine Master Spell animation, as well as new ones for staffs, dual casting, and a few others. On top of the new stance, drawing, and casting animations, the authors also changed the walk, run, sprint, and turn animations to fit in with the new stance, and they're very similar to the vanilla movement, and are nowhere near as feminine as some of the other similar mods we've seen. Moving on to the one-handed melee animations, we have a new stance that looks very similar to the new magic one. On top of that, for one-handed swords only, there's a new flashy sheathing and unsheathing animation, as well as a slightly tweaked right swing. The moving animations have also been changed for the one-handed melee weapons, and this time there's more of a difference, especially when sprinting, which pulls your sword arm a bit further back, which fits in with the theme of the mod. And finally, we have the new sneaking animations that make your character kneel when they're idle, and then continue to sneak using the vanilla animations. The authors also added the animations so you can unsheath your weapon or magic while sneaking and being idle. And overall, the authors made some great animation mods in the past, and this is definitely going to join them as one of the better animation mods out there. And to top things off, if you only liked a couple of the animations you just saw, then you can very easily just untick them as you install the mod using the mod manager, as you can see on screen now. So give the animations a go, and see if they're fit for your character. And that's the end of today's spotlight. As always, remember to leave an endorsement if you enjoy an author's mod, and thanks for watching.